Facebook is the most popular social media application today, and it's being updated regularly to make sure it works properly on all platforms. However, it seems like some iPhone users have encountered issues shortly after the iOS 14.2 update. In this video, we will show you what to do if Facebook does not load properly on your iPhone 11 Pro after the iOS 14.2 update. First solution, force restart your iPhone. Most of the time, app crashes are minor app issues. They occur every now and then but they're not necessarily hard to fix. In fixing a problem like this, the first thing that you have to do is to refresh your phone's memory and reload all apps and services. Here's how. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then do the same for the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. Your iPhone will turn off and power back on. When the Apple logo shows, release the power key and wait for it to finish restarting. Once the reboot is finished, try opening Facebook and see if it still crashes. Second solution, uninstall Facebook and reinstall it. Another effective solution to this problem is uninstalling the app in question. Doing so will remove all its associations with the firmware and other apps. After that, reinstall the app to make sure you have the latest version. Here's how you do those things. Go to the screen where the Facebook icon is located. Tap and hold on its icon until options show. Tap Delete App. Tap Delete to confirm the deletion of the app. Once the app is successfully uninstalled, launch the App Store. Search for Facebook, and then tap the Install icon. Wait for the app to be successfully installed on your iPhone. When the installation is finished, tap Open to launch it. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix an app that keeps on crashing. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you have to do the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix this problem but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.